Hello lovers, it is A Level Results Day tomorrow, so fingers crossed, it is going to be a sleepless night all round. Um, but this is what is going to happen tomorrow, what you can do and how you can prepare for it. Tomorrow you are going to get two bits of information and while these bits of information are linked they are actually separate bits of information and one can't tell you the other and the other can't tell you one. You are going to find out your A-level grades and then you are going to find out if you got into university or you got onto your job placement or whatever that is. So this is mainly going to be based on UCAS and getting into university. Now, if you decide to go to school first or college first and get your grades or if you decide to log into track first is completely up to you. UCAS track opens at 8 o'clock this year, something last year was 8.30, this year I can be told it's 8 o'clock. So it opens at 8 o'clock. It is going to be very busy. Do not expect to get onto track at 8 o'clock. You just need to sit there clicking refresh, 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 refresh until it lets you in and that will tell you whether you've got your place at university or not so it will go from a conditional place to an unconditional place and then you are in at your place at university it doesn't tell you what your grades are so if for some reason you don't get your place at university you don't know what your grades are until you actually go and pick them up and then you can start the process of clearing or making other decisions when you get to school if you decide to go and pick your grades up first and you get your grades that doesn't tell you whether you've got your university place or not. They are separate bits of information, even though they are quite closely linked. So say you go to university, uh, say you go to a school or college first and you get your grades and you needed three Bs and you've got B, B, C. That doesn't tell you whether you've got into university or not. The only thing that will tell you whether you've got into university or not will be track. Now, if you don't get the grades that you are hoping for, you're expecting, you're needing, that doesn't mean that you've lost your university place. They might still let you in. This happened to me. And looking back, I've got no idea how I got into university. I went to Bath. I think I needed an A and two Bs, or it might have even been two A's and a B. And I ended up with B, B, C, D. I had the worst A results of everyone on my course everyone else in my course had like three a's and it's me that would be there with bbc and d um i don't know how i got onto the course but i did i got onto the course even though i didn't get the grades that i needed um, and when i picked my A-level results up at school i was devastated because i thought i'd lost my place at university i'd lost my place at bath but i had them i uh, they still accepted me even though the grades weren't as good so you will get your other results and you'll get the results from track telling you whether you've got into university or not now if you have got the grades and you have got into university or if you haven't got the grades and you have got into university then brilliant go and celebrate with whoever you want to celebrate with if you didn't get the grades this is where we can start thinking about clearing now hopefully you listened to my last video where i told you you need to have a plan in place because as soon as you know what your grades are and you know you haven't got a place at university, you need to on the phone to your first choice, the person, the university you've got at the top of the list for clearing. And then you need to um, be on the phone with them and they can actually do all the sorting out for you. Once you are definitely confirmed, that is where you want to go. You can have it sorted out very, very quickly. Now, university, if it has 10 places left through clearing, it's not going to wait around for the best candidates to apply. It's going to have a criteria, and the first 10 people that meet that criteria will get those places, which is why on results day, you need to have that list ready sorted. You can't start doing your clearing research on results day because that's too late. By the time you actually come around to applying for those places, they might not be there anymore. So you need to have that ready and sorted and ready to go on the day. Good luck guys, I'm going to be around as much as I can tomorrow on YouTube and on Discord, answering as many questions as I can for you. Um, good luck guys, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch!
This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.